Historically, cordless chainsaws have been outperformed by their two-stroke counterparts. But with major advancements in battery technology over the last two years, there are now multiple manufacturers that are producing cordless chainsaws that claim their new models can perform just as well on a battery as they can on gasoline. One of the newest to market is the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 16-inch chainsaw designed to run on the new M18 HD 12 amp hour battery. Milwaukee claims their M18 chainsaw offers the same professional power and performance of a 40cc model. So we wanted to see if this was true, so we gave it to the arborists at Alum and Arbor Tree Preservation. We asked them to use it on the job, as well as open it up to compare it to its gas-powered competitors. To get started, we joined Ben on the job site to give us our first inside look at the new Milwaukee M18 chainsaw. Hey, I'm Ben with Alum and Arbor Tree Preservation, and we're here to cut down a blue spruce today. And this is a typical ground saw that we roll with on our tree trucks. This is a Steel 362 MS. We, won, we have a slightly smaller one, a 261 and a 441. That's standard on all of our trucks. Uh, this is going to handle anything on the ground that you need to do. Any felling of trees, bucking up wood. I mean, they're very powerful, two cycle. However, today I'm going to be trying out the Milwaukee the Fuel Brushless M18 battery powered lithium ion one. And uh, we'll see how it does uh, compared to our, our steel ones. It is light compared to our 362 model. A little bit, a little bit different. Feels pretty balanced though. Excited to try it out. Never run a battery powered chainsaw before. So Ben and the team at Alamon Arbor put the M18 chainsaw to the test. Here's what Ben had to say about his experience. My experience with it today, I, go, I went ahead and flushed about a four foot high blue spruce uh, spar and uh, it was good. Went right through it. Power was good. Uh, I didn't have any problems. Chain sharp and it was good output and uh, it handled it fine. Then uh, later on I got to do some test cuts, just cutting cookies. I used a 9 volt battery and then a 12 volt battery made cuts on both. There is a little bit more power for the 12. Um, not night and day, but uh, there's definitely a little bit more power. I like it. I think that it feels good in my hand. I like the, you don't have to use, you don't mess around with fuel, just, uh, just bar oil and it's instant start. Something else we noticed today when we were cutting, the sawdust chips is a little bit longer chips than what is normally. Sometimes it's a real fine powder and it sprays it everywhere. Um, it's, it's not a huge deal, but we did notice a little bit less of a mess uh, as far as those longer chips went. So a little bit maybe easier cleanup too. And I just like the, the time, it saves you time, saves you energy. And I mean, I would definitely be willing to give it a try for our trucks. I mean, I think it did well today. I was happy with it. So, I mean, I would use it. Next, we wanted to open up with a professional who repairs gas chainsaws every day and get his opinion about the M18's design. Lucky for us, Alum and Arbor had the right man for the job. My name is Brian with Alum and Arbor Tree Preservation. Okay, right now we're looking at the Milwaukee M18 Fuel. This is a brushless cordless saw. One of the benefits I do like about this saw is the fact that when you put the battery in there, it is somewhat enclosed and safe from any impacts, any kind of um, beating around on it. And this is one of the only saws that I've seen that had that design on there, so I, I definitely like that. What I would like to see in this is, a, again, some type of a strap, something to go over there to kind of just hold that in there in the event that something does happen, the battery comes loose so it doesn't um, fall to the ground or fall period. Another thing that I had noticed about this saw is just after a few times of using it, the scabbard on it is very, very tight. And what I mean by that is just your typical taking on and off. It had just started cutting up the scabbard, which won't last very long at all. This could be a little bit thicker of a material and just a little bit bigger so it's not rubbing up against the teeth um, when you're taking it on or off. Again, this saw does not require many tools to take apart. So you have the oil functioning and that again is hooked up by a worm gear which I will show you here as soon as we take off the side plate. Okay, this one by four is the more demanding one to take apart. Um, immediately upon opening up because the, the spring is so large and so, so powerful in this, it'll try to uh, come up out of the uh, groove that it's in and then the brake will obviously come out of its groove too, which is very easy to put back together. Um, another benefit is that, of this is you can take apart everything very easily. And this is um, the worm gear that helps you adjust 
the tightness or looseness of the chain. Very simplistic. Again, everything comes out in the event that something was to happen, the part would break. It could be changed very easily, minimally, um, with, with very basic tools. If you look at the clutch on this one, it's also very thick metal, which will last a long time, and you won't have to worry about um, any kind of fatigue on it. Um, the sprocket and the clutch are one, one full piece, um, so in the event that the sprocket was to wear out, you would have to replace the whole brake and sprocket. This machine is very simplistic. There's, again, not a lot of moving parts in it. The clutch is very simplistic. Um, the spring is very strong, hence why it's trying to come out of there because there's so much tension on that. The brake is also e very easy to use and it shuts off that, that chain immediately. There's no hesitation. I do like the saw. It's got plenty of power. Um, being the brushless motor, a lot of torque and, and that's definitely a plus in this business. You don't have a slow chain that's causing a lot of jumping or skipping. With the faster speed of the chain and the more power driven behind the chain, it definitely cuts through the wood a lot nicer. The increased power of the new Milwaukee batteries has allowed them to reach deeper and deeper into the world of gas-powered, or traditionally corded, power tools. We have heard a lot of tradesmen doubt the potential of their M18 9-inch grinder, table saw, and now the 16-inch chainsaw. But clearly, Milwaukee's doing something right. Even our seasoned pros were impressed by the M18, and they tell us they now have plans to add a few cordless chainsaws to their trucks, leading us to wonder what tool Milwaukee will conquer next. Thank you to the team at Allen & Arbor for giving us their professional insight. That's going to wrap up this inside look at the Milwaukee M18 chainsaw, available now at ohiopowertool.com. It's in the links below. Be sure to check out coptool.com for more power tool news and information. And don't forget to join us every Friday at noon Eastern for our Power Tool Week in Review. I'll see you then.